Hey again everyone, so I have a tag for you today and this is the book facts tag and I'm not 100% sure who started it but I know that I first saw it on Mars Peach Girls channel and I thought I haven't done a tag in a little while so I thought I would do this one. Um, I'm sorry if I look down, um, it's because I have the questions written down. So here we go. How many books are in your collection? Um, I haven't counted them since I did the Bookalicious tag but I think I must be around the 500 mark, give or take a couple, I think that's where I must be now. To what books haven't you read that everyone else has? Um, I haven't read the Pretty Little Liar series by Sarah Shepard and I haven't read The Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. Um, I haven't read all of the Vampire Academy. Um, I think that's all that I can think of as off the top of my head. Oh. Oh no, I haven't read Harry Potter. No, I haven't read Harry Potter. So yeah, that's the big one that I haven't read. Um, three, book you were surprised to hate. Um, I wouldn't say hate. I think hate is too strong a word. Um, but I didn't like the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. I started reading book one and I just didn't get into it. I just didn't see the draw to it at all. Um, I also, I didn't hate, but I didn't, but like, Wake Unto Me by Lisa Catch. I expected to really like that book and it, it never got going for me. So I was surprised to not enjoy that one because it was a blend of sort of paranormal historical romance which would normally be really my thing because I obviously like my historicals, I like my paranormal and I have to have a bit of romance in my books but it just didn't get going. Uh, question four, what book has a super shocker ending? Um, I would say Nevermore by Kelly Cray. I hated that cliffhanger so much and I wanted to read the next book straight away. Oh, it was just, it was a good ending, but to not have the next book was horrible. I hated that cliffhanger. Also Mercy by Rebecca Lim. Um, I thought the end was really abrupt and I was shocked. I didn't expect that ending. Um, so yeah, that was a quite a shock ending. My favourite genre? Um, I like lots of different genres um, but most of my books are paranormal romance whether that's YA or adult I read both. Um, I also like my historical fiction anything from like Stephanie Lawrence and Amanda Quick to um, actual old literature like Jane Austen. I, I read a variety of things but it's predominantly paranormal or some fantasy not as much it's mostly paranormal number six what book can't you wait to come out there are so many my, my, my list is ever growing really of books that I want whether they're out or not out but ones that I can't wait to come out uh, Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare that comes out on the 6th of December I loved book one in the Infernal Devices. I think I may enjoy that more than the Mortal Instruments. I love the Mortal Instruments, don't get me wrong, but I like the historical element that to these shadow hunters that is this world that we all know and love, and yet it's in like Victorian London. I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. Um, also in Shadowed by Kelly Cray. Like I said in question four, I the ending was just. Ah, I need it now um, and it doesn't come out till August next year. It should have come out in January and I was all super happy that it was coming out in January but no, it's now coming out in August which devastated me. Um, number seven, favourite character of all time. This is really hard because I like loads of different characters. I think most of the time when I'm reading a book I think, oh I love this character and I think about them for like ages and then I read another book and I'm like, oh no, I like this character. But characters that have sort of stayed with me as favourite characters. Um, Magnus Bane from the Mortal Instruments series. I just thought he was a great outrageous character and I loved him. He brought some much needed humour. Well, I know Jace is funny in the Mortal Instruments, but he brought a much more light-hearted humour to it. Whereas um, Jace is more sort of angsty sort of humour. Um, 
But I also liked Varen from Nevermore by Kelly Cray because he was, I liked that he was a protagonist and he was a goth. There are very few goths as main characters. I really liked him and he he was very sardonic and sarcastic and I found myself loving his quirky replies because I thought I think I would say that or something well, even though I'm not a goth obviously but I really liked his character and I really liked him but from my more classical literature I really like Frederick Wentworth from Persuasion I really like him as a character but then I also like Darcy so and Lizzie Bennet, of course, but everybody likes Lizzie Bennet, so that's like redundant saying that. Uh, my least favourite character? This is really hard because I find myself hardly ever disliking a character. I can normally like the main character. It's very rare that that um, happens, but I had to think about it. And I would say Sabba from Blood Red Road. Um, by Moira Young. I know lots of people really liked her because she was all like kick ass and everything but I just found her really annoying and how she treated her younger sister I couldn't get past that I really didn't like her um, so that kind of ruined the whole book for me is that I didn't like her at all and then recently I read The Iron King by Julie Kagawa I've only read book one but I really didn't like Megan Chase in that I'm hoping she gets better but I didn't like her in that she was a whiny typical annoying girl character and I didn't like it. Um, nine, favourite book. Uh, I have loads but at the top still is Angel by L.A. Weatherly. I like that it is a completely different take on angels. I love that angels are the bad guys sucking people's auras. I like how it was written. It's It was so smooth I couldn't put it down and I loved the characters. I couldn't fault it really and I've just got the sequel Angel Fire but I haven't read it yet because this, the final book in the trilogy does not come out until October next year so I think I'm kind of saving it because I don't want to read it, rush it and then have to wait for the next one. I think I'm just going to wait, read loads of books that are on my to be read list and get round to that at a later date which was on a complete tangent from the actual question but yeah, favourite book is that from my other genres like my classic literature will probably be Persuasion by Jane Austen. I love Persuasion. I'm kind of Persuasion obsessed at the moment. I keep rereading it. I keep watching all the adaptations that I do own on DVD um, and reading various adaptations that I have. Um, yeah, I have. Like, it's so hard to actually pick a favourite, but if I was actually forced to, I would say Angel by L.A. Weatherly. Okay, so that was the book facts tag. I tag everyone to do this if you want to do this, but I would really, really like to tag Jessica, the Evangeline Lily. I would love to see her do a tag video. Um, but everyone else, feel free to do the tag. I'd love to see your responses. And thanks so much for watching. See you soon.